Okay. Uh, so we're gonna do another custom run. Seeing as I was asked if I'm going to do any defect runs, let's do a, a defect watcher run. Now, is there any way I can t turn it on so Neo has the starting bonus? Replaces your starting relic with Sneko Eye. That'd be fun. Yeah, there's no way for me to trigger Neo. Is there? That's unfortunate, because I straight up just don't get the uh, the buff as a result of custom runs, but I guess that's kind of the point. Okay. Anyway, so plan is, I mean, pretty obviously we're just going to do a run with defects. Sort of. Uh, so how do we want to do this? I see a mid-boss and a mid-boss. That's a decent mystery machine. A bunch of bonfires, too. I might want to go this way, because we got a bonfire, mid-boss, bonfire, shop, and then another mid-boss. And some opportunities to get some interesting cards. So, if you're wondering why I'm specifically starting with the uh, the Defect instead of the Watcher, uh, despite the fact that these are kind of specifically going to be Watcher runs, uh, it's mainly because the, uh, the Watcher does not start with multiple orb slots, and also has less HP. So... We're just going to do this. Uh, let's see. Streamline. Streamline's pretty good. Let's go streamline. Let's see. I don't like regret, so let's just go for the max HP. Streamline. Dual cast. Oh, we didn't kill him, but we did a lot of damage to him. Man, that... Draw RNG was not in my favor. That's okay, because streamline. You get a flex potion. Aggregate. Aggregate is always fun. Rip and tear is pretty good. Uh, hmm. Ah. You know what? No matter what, aggregate is worth it. Sort of. Because I tend to have pretty bloated decks. I mean, it pays for itself baseline. So, I, I don't really know. Okay, so he's only getting hit me for six. So, we're going to hit him more. Wrath Thunderstorm would be obscenely powerful. Yup. Yeah, there's there's some fun things I could see here. Ooh, self-repair. Rebound would be good, but let's grab self-repair. Not a whole lot of characters have good self-healing like that. Uh, we got a shop coming up, so I'm just going to go for the gold. And I'm not too injured, so... Better self-repair... Better aggregate, better streamline. I'm gonna go better aggregate. I'm just going to embrace. Do I? Nah. Shoot. Lightning doofed me over. Uh. I totally forgot the lightning was gonna hit him. I'm not used to having orbs here. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do self-repair and a pair of defense. Okay. And then aggregate, aggregate is pointless. Aggregate. Doesn't really pay for itself yet, unfortunately. I'm just gonna take a ton of damage on this fight. I'm not happy about that. He might kill me. We'll see on the next round. Uh, let's see, we've got... Nope, we got two strikes. We lived through it, barely. And we get question cards. I'm still not getting purple cards in the shop. We'll grab another streamline. I wonder if it's not uh, functional yet. And this is just going to be a, a secretly just a full defect run. 
The motion ship's kind of fun, actually. But yeah, it could just be pseudo busted here. Unfortunate if true, but not the biggest deal. Yeah, she wasn't included in my true form modifier. Interesting. Well, if that's the case, then so be it. Let's see, I can't kill him yet. Probably just zap. Might want to make that cheap. In the future. Okay, all for one. Deal 10 damage, put all zero cost cards in your discard pile in your hand. I like all for one. Doesn't mean I want to pick up some zero cost things, because I currently have none. And that's bad. Uh, hmm. Kind of a waste of a flex potion. But I'm taking some damage. Okay, reboot. It's okay. Lost leap stack. Yeah, we're not we're not getting any. Okay. Uh in that case, I'm gonna save and quit. I realize that I've already started this run and we're getting okay things. We're gonna abandon that run and we're gonna play it in the reverse. Custom. So we're gonna play her. With, uh, blue cards. Does mean I'll have less mod slots, which is unfortunate. So what do I want to do? Oh. Do we just do heirloom? No. We could do flight. Flight would be fun. Let's just turn on flight. Because I, I don't know if I have any orb slots, but uh, we'll, we'll just fly around and, and mystery machine as hard as humanly possible. For wildly unclear reasons. At least I have a orb slot. Time dilation and more mid-bosses is super fun, too. Uh, Y'all are breaking my back with these suggestions. But yeah, let's let's just turn on dumb modifiers for a while. Slay the Spire is going to be more of a fun thing for me for now. Uh, than me trying to seriously get good at that. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, let's see. So we want to do... Time dilation. I don't know about time dilation, but let's turn on Flight and Big Game Hunter. At the very least. Ooh, and deadly events. Talked about the top. It's true. But we're gonna do dumb things. Yeah, starting relic can be replaced. True. Problem is it can be replaced with one sp sp one or Two different uh, specific, mo uh, not mods, relics. That might not necessarily be a good idea. Okay, let's grab self repair, because self repair is awesome. Uh, take the golden idol, get a trap. Uh, it's just get injury. Injury is not too big of a deal. Especially because we can immediately go remove it. Whenever you add a card to your deck, gain seven gold. That'd be good. Some of these would be really good, but we're going to get rid of that first. Okay, obtain a relic, heal up, max HP. We are not durable enough for this. Let's see, gain gold, lose HP. Let's see, let's fight one mid boss. I don't really have many useful things here, so I'm just going to pop those two.
If I erupt, I wake him up. Well, I guess I'll just wake him up right now. Eruption, strike, vigilance, and a defense. Gonna try and keep that damage off, if possible. Defend, defend, and a strike. I'm not exactly where I like to be. Eruption, strike, strike, strike. And I'm gonna take 36 damage here. And I'm going to die. I needed one more strike and it did not. Wow. That was bad. That was not an oops, that was a calculated risk. I'm like, well, I'll take one bad hit from him, but maybe I'll be okay. And the answer is nope. I should have known that I was getting nothing but defense or strikes uh, over and over again. Well, whatever. Gonna try that again. Let's see, strike, strike. Your vigilance. Strike and eruption. Just to kill that guy. So what do we want to do? Wrath, beam cell. Let's do beam cell. We don't really ever apply vulnerability. And that seems like a good idea. Heal 21. Healing 21 might not be a terrible idea, considering. Okay, so I've got a decent amount of money. Uh, you know what? This is an interesting one. Medical kit is nice. Strawberry is kind of okay. Ceramic fish, whenever you add a card to your deck. Starting with ceramic fish, effectively, would be lovely. Let's see. Oh, hey, Benstar. How's it going? Uh... Are you feeling better? Or are you still sick? Let's see. Yeah, what do I want to do? How many cards do I even add to my deck in a given run? Because as it stands, I'd have to add... 22 cards to my deck to even break even with it. At least Hand of Greed would be a little bit faster. Let's see, does Wonder have a day by day game schedule? Nope, kind of varies based on what I want, what I need for a given day, and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna grab the medical kit. I don't know if it's the best or the most useful, but we'll go for it. And it's Gremlin Knob. Probably should have actually bought something else first, but you know what? Okay. Don't question why I did what I just did. Okay, there it is. Beam cell strike. There we go. Still gonna take 12 damage from that one. I did that kind of wrong, but whatever. Okay. Good hand of greed. I didn't have the money. Pay some attention. Rainbow, or Machine of Learning, or Vaults. Grab Machine Learning, because that one's good. Uh, let's see. We find another mid-boss. We could. I don't know how lucky I am. Upgrading that might work. Ooh, upgrading beam cell. Actually. Let's up upgrade beam cell real quick. Because we could upgrade a couple of cards before we do too much here.
Okay, Darkstone Pyrapt. It's got some interesting applications here. Uh, do we keep upgrading? Because what we could do is use this opportunity to smith up, like, half of my cards. I don't really have a whole lot of money. Let's fight this guy. These guys. Okay, this kind of works out for me. Vigilance. Miracle. Eruption. Strike and strike. There we go. So I'm going to take a little bit of damage for that. Hopefully it doesn't screw me over too hard. It might. It will a little bit. We're going to kill him fast at the very least, but it's going to hurt. Okay. And yeah, I'll block. Not the most useful. And not the cards I'm looking for here. My draw my draws have been not super fun. But that's okay. I'm I'm doing alright. Yeah, some kind of weird stomach infection. Ooh, ouch. Uh, ooh, Meteor Strike. 24 damage, channel 3 plasma would be interesting. Let's go battle him, though. Do machine learning that miracle into a vigilance. Okay, so this could go really, really badly for me. Uh, but I'm doing it. Okay, so... Beam Cell, Eruption, Strike, Other Strike. Well, I do believe I'm kind of turbo bo uh, turboned here. Could I kill him? Yes! I can just kill him. <laughs> that was close. Let's see, Thunder Strikes. Seven damage, random enemy for each lightning channeled seek. Alpha was good. I remember that being true. Okay, let's actually fight some regular enemies for a second. Okay, machine learning, battle him, miracle, and vigilance. Okay, so what do we do? Because I could do Beam Cell Eruption and just try and skunk one of these two. Otherwise, we could roll Alpha Omega. How much damage would I even be able to do with this? I wouldn't be able to skunk him. Admittedly, this... I think I would have maybe taken the same... Eh, no, no, no. Okay, so there's Beta. Oh, so Alpha, Beta, and Omega, it gets progressively more expensive. That makes perfect sense, I guess. Just kill that guy. Drop the defend. Beta, yeah, maybe I should have done that, but maybe not on this fight. Eruption. Strike. And we're good. Okay, so Barrage. I don't have any channeled orbs. Boot sequence is kind of nice. And sub gremlin knob, this is an absolute mistake, but we're doing it anyway. I'm hoping we get beam cell here. Thank you, Gr Crystalon, for gifting a sub to Nightbot. Thank you so much. Let's see. Do we go vigilance? Do we take the 12 damage? Let's go vigilance. We can pretty much kill him at this point. Uh, let's see. Battle him. Strike. And I'm going to defend once. Eruption and strike. Okay. So not too bad against him. 
Electrodynamics, lightning hits all enemies, thunderstrike, multicast. Man, uh, I, I guess electrodynamics could kind of work. Yeah, let's grab electrodynamics. We'll see what, we'll see what we can do with that. And then I gotta rest because holy shit, I'm almost dead. We do have the shovel, which means I should probably go uh, mid boss chasing, but later. Okay, so machine learning, electrodynamics, not gonna be the most helpful given the current situation. And let's pop that so we can get beta. There's Beta. He's going to hit me for 32, which is not something I'm particularly keen on. Uh, thing is... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I can I can bust him out of it at least for this, maybe? Shoot. Well, defend plus. Oh, wait. Yeah, we got him. I forgot about the lightning orb. <laughs> oh, boy. I am... Uh, let's see. I am just flying by the seat of my boots. That's not a great place to be. So we could pop boot sequence. We'll just do it. That way I can hit him once. Okay, this would be a great time for a battle him. I'm just going to do it. Even though... Oh, I should have beam celled him. I, what am I doing? What am I training? Free defense. Luckily, should be in a good position. So, beam cell. Eruption. Strike. Another strike. Third strike or vigilance? Let's just go back to vigilance. Okay, so here's where we get beta. And it looks like Omega is not... Omega is reusable. Oh, there's a cheap Omega. I'm doing it. Oh. Well, screw me. That's... It's a power. Okay, turtle, turtle tactics. We are changing the trajectory of this run. Uh, let's see, do we go wallop? Wallop's kind of good. Yeah, we'll grab wallop. No longer smith at rest sites. Remove two cards or runic dome. Let's go runic dome. I always generally have a vague idea of what they're going to be doing anyway. Uh, let's see. Well. We'll see how this goes. Uh, let's see. So, beam cell. Machine learning. I could do electrodynamics, but... It's so... So far has not been amazingly useful for me. Okay, we're just going to do that for the time being. Okay, there it goes. So there's beta. Beam cell. Eruption. Vigilance, Miracle, Battle Ham. We're just going to take some dazes. Uh, let's see. Get him with a wallop. And we'll defend once just because. The dazes don't scare me that bad. Let's see, what do I got? Well, I guess I just kill him with strikes. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Gain focus, lose orb slot. Draw a card. Let's do Path to Victory. And how am I feeling? I'm feeling kind of lucky. What do we got here? 
Oh. Dang. Okay. So, option A, to regate. Save my butt. Option B, membership card and to regate. <laughs> Never mind, no brainer. I did the math as I was saying, like, mm, I'm not sure about this. And it's like, wait a second, no, I just have just enough. All right, and I get an old relic. Start each combat column. Cool. Remove a card from my deck, get out of here, strike! Let's see, and I'm too poor to afford anything. Hello, jerks! Uh, let's see, I'm gonna gain an artifact just because. So, Electro... Mm-hmm. Path to Victory gets me a free defend. I like that. Boot Sequence, defend. Machine Learning and Electrodynamics. And another defend and a miracle. Why did I pop miracle? I'm not sure. It actually did hit me. I am kind of floored. Strike. And then we're going to pop the dude defense. Because these guys hurt and I want to fight the next mid boss if I can. Okay, so there's Alpha, Omega, Heshman. Hit him. God, it feels so wasteful to hit him with beam cell. The damage differential is minimal. There we go. I gotta potentially... F we might want to get our hands on stuff like Seek. Now that I'm thinking about it. So let's wallop him. Strike him. I guess I... Oh, right. I can play those wounds. You gotta realize... I forget about these things sometimes. Uh, let's see. So let's abrupt strike and then other strike. It's fine. The wounds aren't that big of a deal. Okay. Core Surge. Another Alpha... Yes. I gotta do it. I, I gotta commit to it, too. Uh, let's see. So let's let's smith up Alpha. Hey, that's nice. Do I fight another mid boss? Oh, let's see. We probably should. I wonder how cheap everything is with the courier and mid. I don't. I don't know. My assumption is we're going to have some very inexpensive cards here. Probably could have strike. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. There's beta. Which immediately gets me an electromagnetic. Uh... Not ready yet. I could wallop, but that's only going to do so much. We're going to pop it anyway. I could do electrodynamics. And I can work on killing the sneaky gremlin. I'm going to do that. Because he's not ready yet. He hits me a lot, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Path to victory gets me battle him. Battle him is very appreciated. Steam cell. Eruption. God, this is a stupid idea. I don't know how much damage he's going to do. Okay, he's not hitting me. That's good. And we get cheap omega. Beam cell. Please, for the love of God, don't hit me. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, let's get out of Eruption, because Eruption is death. And we're just going to turtle and wait for him to die. Because Alpha, Beta, Omega is, is stupid. And I love it. Uh, let's see. None of these are amazingly useful for what I'm trying to do here. I like the idea of Wallop, but it's just too risky. Let's dig. We get Shuriken. Shuriken's kind of nice. We get Frozen Egg. Oh, that's actually really nice. 
and we get these guys again. Okay, well, I start with Alpha. Boot sequence, machine learning. Let's go back to hitting this guy. I might actually want to just remove Eruption from my deck. I might want to remove a lot of things from my deck if I can. I'd beam cell into a wallop. But I kind of want a beta. So we're just gonna beam cell him. Because... I pretty much get Omega off rather fast. There's Omega. There's a really cheap Omega. Damn! I just have to survive this next round as I have no defensive cards in my deck. This does not inspire me with confidence. I'm boned. Damn it! Too many mid bosses. Kind of, kind of bad RNG. But you know what? Whatever. 